Oh, this is Kai Opua Fife with the Kiwani Foundation bringing you another segment of Voices of Truth one-on-one -on -one with Hawaii's future. And we're seated here in the shade sometime uh, at Kalapaki Bay on the island of Kauai. And uh, you might hear a little bit of ukulele picking in the background and that's Elwood Machado who's going to spend the next uh, several minutes with us here. So, Elwood. Yeah. <laughs> So I guess I'll play a song Go that I it. wrote. Yeah, if you like. It's, it's called Aloha Kawaii Mano Kalanipo. Aloha Kawaii Mano Kalanipo My Leli Ili Sujo So Sweet Mokiana Kalala along the way Sunny day, na pali kuu aloha, nu ulolo by her side. Mi loli is so beautiful, holy hale captures your eyes. Aloha kawaii, hanale by the bay, by olo nuiya, people go to pray. The of high and high, caresses your heart. Aloha kawaii, mano kala nipo, palm trees swaying, children playing, people laughing, another kawaii day. Aloha kawaii. Hana le by the bay, by Olohu Iya, people go to pray. The beauty of Hyena caresses your heart. Aloha Kawaii, Mano Kalani Po. Aloha Kawaii, Mano Kalani Po. Waikiki when there were no hotels. I mean, had a couple hotels, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. But that's where I was born. Uh, great life. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. And this is just as beautiful. Well, and then you came back, I don't know what, 20 huh, some years ago? Yeah, 25 years now, 27. 27, 27 years ago yeah. to Kauai. And, and so you're on family property. Yeah, yeah, with the family. Yeah. So. I know you were growing animal. You were raising animals, and you were yeah, growing we, we, you know, stuff before. Yeah, we had before, pigs. We had them all. You right. know. <laughs> you still and do then, that occasionally? Uh, you know, uh, very little. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, trying to spend more time in the ocean and teaching the kids uh, mm -hmm. about their culture and stuff. You know. Right. Right. Um, you know, trying to do kid programs and helping some of the kupuna up in the valley um, with their projects. So many Hawaiians down there are trying to do different projects, and they all ask for a little, you know, mm -hmm. a little help. So we get in there and help, yeah. Well, you're talking about the kids' programs. I mean, you've been in uh, the uh, DOE Kupuna program for right. what? a long, long time. Yeah, 14 years. Yeah, 14 years. and you're still involved with that. Yeah, still doing it up at Cully Hill School. Right. Uh, great school, great principal, Mr. Mm -hmm. Berkman, and all the teachers there are just mm -hmm. wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we try and give the kids as much as possible, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Much Hawaiian as we can put it in there, man. We got to put it in there, you know. I, I, I kind of work with the younger kids. Yeah. Kindergarten to third grade, and uh, that's well, great. Most formative it. years, huh? Earliest, yeah. earlier, earlier is better. Yeah, I love it. You've been involved with so many community programs for the kids yeah. uh, in all different directions. And yeah, with Nana's, Nana's house, house and yeah. with the Father's program, mm -hmm. you know, and all of those programs are just great. They mm -hmm. all give back to the community, you know, especially mm -hmm. Nana's house. Yeah. They give back to the community. Are they still going? They're still going, and Mommy's uh, the manager out there in uh, Nana's mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. 
And, you know, just a bunch of great people, you know. They go out and they help the community with food, with, um, you know, assistance in different things that they mm -hmm. need, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. And we, we have a lot of people with a lot of needs, you know. Yeah. And they, they come out and they do festivals that were for free for kids. Right. You know, and I wish we still could do them, but, you know, we kind of ran out of funds. I was going to ask you about the funding situation. Yeah, the funding was, was kind of uh, <clears throat> shut, you know, shut down for a little while for everybody. Yeah, sure. You know, and it's so important that you give, you know, it's not too much about paying or, you know, stuff like that. You know, you know selling this and selling that. It's about giving to the kids. So all the programs that we did down on the west side was free. Yeah. You know, when they came there, they, they played recovered. the games. They were covered. Free. Right. Their lunch was free. Right. Everything was free. Right. I know it's hard to do, yeah. but it's better to give mm -hmm. than receive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Well, it takes a, the community support too, especially if you don't, if you haven't got the funding and you're digging yeah. into your own pocket. I mean, even and more important that the parents help support the things that are benefiting the kids. You know, yeah. their own kids. And, and you know, it's hard nowadays. Yeah. Everybody's working, you know, nobody has time for the kids. Yeah. And the teenagers get lost, you know, because mm -hmm. they need that, yeah. you know. Yeah. Such a criti critical stage in their lives, you know, is moving on to, to adults. Well, it's been such a problem in Hawaii with uh, everyone having to hold down multiple jobs just to right. try to make ends meet. And, uh, and then when you get a tough economy on top of that, Sometimes there aren't even those jobs, extra jobs to do, you know, so right. it's pretty scary. Important thing, though, I think, is uh, seeing what's going on on Kauai is, uh, you know, like the food sovereignty movement where people right. are growing their own more, you know, and uh, it's catching on. More land is becoming available. Uh, we were talking to Stacy Sprout about Waipa. Oh, a beautiful you know, program. And I think they're, I think they've got the, you know, the right track. Oh, Stacy is beautiful. Yeah. She does so much for the kids and mm -hmm. everything that they do up there. They're like, number one, you yeah. know? <laughs> they're all yeah. in there. They're, yeah. it, they're just so great, you know, I love yeah. it. But Every time we get out there, it's like, yeah. oh. But they've been going at it for years. You yeah. Know? So, you know, I mean, it's the same thing like what you guys have been doing out on the west side is you just, Keep plugging along, and and you good just, things happen. And you, the you the know, kids, you've gone through a couple well, of crops of kids. Uh, oh, a lot of from kids. small ones that are now growing up. That you've had, I know you've had a yeah. Real we big we impact. had like the family club, mm -hmm. you know, which was a hundred families, mm -hmm. and we did that for almost ten years. Yeah, you know, and that was taking out the families and getting them to become close with the kids, work right. with the kids. Right. Uh, arts, crafts, mm -hmm. uh, getting out to Waipa. Mm -hmm. We took them out to Waipa a couple of times. Yeah. You know, and then down to the Hyena at the end of the road. Uh, right. um, I think that was the YWCA, yeah, yeah. you know, out there. I mm -hmm. mean, we took them all over and just families trying to, you know, stay to, together, you know, right. it's, it's hard. I just love doing it for the kids, you know? No, I know, but you know, if you look behind something good that's going on, there's usually one person Maybe two, but usually just one person who helps make things happen. And uh, I think uh, to a great extent, you know, the things that are going on the West Side, you've been involved in, you've been uh, making making things happen. I appreciate that, yeah. you know. Yeah. But like I said, you know, it's for the kids. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter where they're from mm -hmm. or, you know, what district or what area. Mm -hmm. To me, we should put them all together and be giving them as much as we can, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. And putting out, like the mayor, you know, he, he helped us with the father's program. Mm -hmm. I mean, he helped us with Nana's house. What, yeah. is the, what does the father's program do? The father's <laughs> program is a state, um, it's a state thing yeah. where um, all the fathers get together and um, do stuff with their children. Mm -hmm. And we did it in uh, Honolulu. They have, you know, that's the main base, right? right? And then all the other islands have a, a small base. And right. I was the representative for Kauai mm. at uh, that time. I kind of stepped out because I had other uh, commitments that right. I needed to take care of. Right. But it's just a beautiful program. And the mayor uh, spearheaded the one on Kauai. And you know what? He donated a lot of his time. Mm -hmm. And he's a busy guy. This uh, 
venture into uh, the bed and breakfast uh, thing. I think that's, that's it's one of those opportunities to kind of educate people who are actually interested in an experience, right? A, a different kind of experience when they come to Kauai. You know, I mean, you can go to the destination resorts yeah. and see the, you know, the ice sculptures and the things like you used to do and all the fancy right. high, high upper stuff, or you can uh, kind of try to blend in a little bit and get a feel for what it's like really up yeah. in Waimea Valley. That's, you know? that's what I mean. Yeah. I mean, it's really all about the real experience, yeah. you know. Yeah. Come down, learn how to make lays, mm -hmm. you know, the real way. Let's go in the backyard here yeah. and make some lays, or yeah. Yeah. let's make some um, palaia, or let's make some games, kunani mm -hmm. boards, mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. that you can take home, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that you made mm -hmm. with us, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, listen to some music, mm -hmm. you know, have a good dining experience. Any of the people who uh, have stayed with you? Any of them musicians or sing or, or um, you know what? Yet? I've had one. Yeah. And one night I was sitting out on the porch playing some slack key, you know. Yeah. And he came over and he kind of stood there and he was going, "Oh, I really like that." And I said, "Wow, maybe I can teach you." Mm -hmm. And you know what? He kind of picked up really fast mm -hmm. and. He really loved it and he bought a book up at Scotty's, you yeah. know, and then he got his slacky book and mm -hmm. things and mm -hmm. he says, oh, yeah, and he, he still emails and he says that, you know, wow, that's the best thing ever happened to him. Yeah. You know, that experience is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he said, I don't think I'd ever find that anyplace else. Mm -hmm. So. Well, the, the, the type of people who would be attractive to what you have to offer are already they're already ready for it. Yeah, you know, yeah. That's why they look you up, and that's why they come out. But it's it's been real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it was interesting because you know as we were talking, uh, uh, Michael Sandra Grace, uh, when they finally got their property over on the on Ahola side, right? Put that set that up, and I thought that was a really good opportunity. Of course, I think a lot of there's, I think they were trying to introduce some of the, the politics. <laughs> of Hawaii to a lot yeah, of people. Because right, right. when you went there, you got the history, you got the politics, you got the you issues. Got it. You got know? Uncle Mike's going to yeah. give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> but I think a lot of people came there for that. Yeah. That specific you know, uh, Uncle Mike, it's a different experience. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's just so beautiful. Like, they have the beach. Yeah. Uh, it's mm -hmm. beautiful. The beach yeah. is just so awesome. Yeah. And you know, Uncle Mike, he's so into you know, everything Hawaii. Yeah. Oh yeah, solid. <laughs> yeah. You've been, when's the last time you got over there to go fishing? Um, it's been a while, I bet. I, huh? Yeah, it's been a while. You know, I, I used to go all the time and then yeah. I just started um, doing more programs. Right. And it's just getting no time. lost for a while. No more time. This is such a beautiful island and uh, inspiration for writing music, mm -hmm. cooking, <laughs> Doing it all, you know, I mean, just in the backyard cooking yeah. for a whole bunch of people is yeah. fun. Yeah. You know, like we did the AHA. Right. That was fun. Oh, I never forget that when we, you know, you know? every once in a while I'll talk with some of the people from the Native Hawaiian Convention. Uh, when we brought that group here to Kauai, I had in mind, we're going to take them up in the mountains <laughs> and we're going to send the buses back down. And nobody can escape. And now they're <laughs> going to stay right there. And you guys, uh, you and the family, the kids uh, did yeah. all the food. Everybody just fell in love with the whole family, and the food was that just yeah, excellent. Yeah, you know, the kids yeah. always help out, and we all yeah. love to cook and yeah. you know do it all. You know, so that's the that's the part of the experience that is yeah. great. Everybody enjoys it. You yeah. know, and it's hard work. Oh yeah. But yeah. you know what? It's all about enjoying. You have another song you want to play for us? Sure. Should I play another song? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Saw you walking down the street, all the boys are turning their heads. Oh, my sweet Hawaiian sweetie, with black hair and light brown skin, green eyes to blow your mind. Oh, my sweet Hawaiian sweetie. So I'll sing, Kui Pomeke Aloha Ika Malie. 
Lo hanno valia ove So asin Ku ipo me ki aloha I kamali Island girls are the best Smiling with their flowers in their ears So beautiful in the sweet sunshine Smiles will light up the world Oh my sweet Hawaiian sweetie So I sing Kuu i po me ke aloha i Aloha no vaui a oe So I sing Kuu i po me ke aloha i ka malie Aloha no vaui a oe There's one thing I know for sure Island girls are the best Smiling with their flowers in their ears Sweet sunshine, smiles will light up the world. Oh, my sweet Hawaiian sweetie. So I see, Kui po me ke aloha i ka mani. Aloha no vai a oe. So I see, Kui po me ke aloha i ka mani. Aloha no vaui a oe Aloha no vaui a oe Hey, alright! <laughs> That's a cool one. Yeah, very good. Yeah. When you put these songs together, you're sitting out on the porch and fooling yeah, around just and away, just put them together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just wheeling away, Echoing the valley. Yeah. <laughs> I know a couple of years ago you put some on a CD, I think you shared them with the, right, with the right. porno, right? Yeah. And uh, you ever try to think about taking it any further as far as... Well, I did one know. CD with, um, oh, I forget her name. Uh, she wrote a book and... Oh, Excuse me, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I forgot her name. And um, we entered it into the uh, song contest and we won, you know. Mm -hmm. So that was nice. That was a start. Then I, I figured, oh, maybe I should write more songs. Mm -hmm. So I started writing and I, I put out about 15 songs. And yeah. um, right now I'm working on a CD, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I, I get stuck in between doing a kids one for right, you know because right. I love the kids yeah, yeah, yeah and all the little kid kitty songs yeah but then you know I always go back to that other CD so we're just kind of working slowly mm -hmm. at it mm -hmm. and I did about six songs already yeah so I'm ready to finish it up and get it rolling a lot of the stuff that people are producing they do them with their own recording equipment and it's pretty, right. It's, pretty, you know, it's pretty ready to go, pretty much. Nowadays, they have so much equipment yeah. that the kids are great with. Yeah, yeah. It's the older guys. That yeah. All you got to do is stay friends with the kids. We've got all that technology. Yeah, know. and then they'll just throw in that reggae, and I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> no come no. on. <laughs> yeah, I love the reggae yeah. music, yeah. too. Yeah. You know, it's just good music, but... Um, no, Some, I heard somebody say, oh, it was Robert Com Cosmero. Yeah. He said, stay Hawaiian. Yeah. We're losing the Hawaiian culture and the yeah. music. Yeah. Stay Hawaiian. Yeah. When he said that, I was like, yeah. So I, I wrote a whole bunch of uh, songs for Hawaii, you know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. trying to keep in that perspective, you right. know, right. because, you know, you love all music. Sure. It's just that, you know, it's hard sometimes to stay in that that corner and punch away at it. You know? Yeah, well, you know, it's like the difference between the uh, Kahiko Hula and the Awana. Right, and right. To me, there's, in any of the art forms, I think the, it should be wide open. People should do whatever they want. But right. I think you got to be able to go back to, you know, the traditional stuff, the yeah. base. 
Yeah, you so gotta. Yeah. You always gotta keep that, and yeah. you gotta make it stronger. Yeah. And yeah. you know we have great chanters and yeah. you know great kumus out there. Yeah. You know, I mean, on Kauai alone, all oh, these yeah. kumus, they're so beautiful. Working hard. And they're so good. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Why not? And all their students yeah. that are coming up, I even. You know, we have all that Hawaiian talent. Man. That's a that's an exciting thing. Yeah, you know. the youth that is coming up is doing just exactly what we hope they could do. Yeah. yeah. Elwood, but Elwood, mahalo for being with us. We uh, really appreciate your taking your time away from <laughs> Momi's time today. <laughs> Momi's time. And. Uh, We'll see what we can do to help patch things up with her. Oh, you might have if to she give comes me a, back. You might have to give me a ride. Until <laughs> <laughs> so, so we see you next time, bro. Mahalo, Nui. Mahalo, and my brother. Thanks all of you who are viewing out there. Uh, this is once again, Kaio Pua Five with the Kwani Foundation for Voices of Truth, one-on-one -on -one with the Hawaii's future, sitting right across from me. Uh, keep us tuned in. Ahuio Malama Pono. Mahalo for watching Voices of Truth one-on-one -on -one with Hawaii's future. Watch us on the web 24-7 at VoicesOfTruthTV.com. You'll find all our shows, including this one, in case you want to see it again or share it with family and friends. Also view our weekly video commentaries at FreeHawaiiTV.com. And check out our blog, published daily, at FreeHawaii.info. It's all part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network.